On the calendar, it's just one of 365, but for some today, 420 ranks high on their list. It is plain and simply an homage to cannabis. WGN's Patrick Elwood has more on what it's meant to the state's bottom line, with sales setting a record high in 2021. In 2021, $1.4 billion worth of cannabis was sold in Illinois, which was more than double than the $669 million sold in 2020. However, you feel about the legalization of weed, there is no debating the tax revenue that it has brought in. Humans have been using cannabis for well over 12,000 years, medicinally, recreationally, and industrially. At Mission South Chicago, they're all yeah. about infusing yeah, art with the science of cultivating cannabis. We first see it uh, right off of the coast of Thailand. Uh, it moves very quickly into Southeast Asia and into China, and then cannabis just spreads all across the world. Pat Zielinski manages the dispensary, and he invited A.J. Tarzian to create an artistic exhibit on the origins of cannabis. This is it, and it's called Mission Trail to 420. Loosely based off of a... Uh, a design that I had done maybe four or five years ago. The origins of cannabis, he says, date back to Southeast Asia. Traded like other commodities, it travels the globe. Many historians believe it arrives with regularity in the U.S. in the early 20th century, in the southern states that border Mexico. So an influx with the Mexican immigration of the early 20s, uh, and that from there, you know, uh, it went from cannabis to marijuana. The evil marijuana from Tijuana. Yeah, right. And then from there, it becomes a mainstay in the jazz community of New Orleans. But then, conservative segments of society very much start disapproving. And the marketing campaign to stigmatize marijuana comes to full bloom in 1936 with the release Innocent of the movie man. Reefer Madness. Innocent of a new and deadly menace lurking behind closed doors. Marijuana. The plant is outlawed federally one year later. But by the 1960s, the hippies, eager to make a break from the World War II generation of their parents, fully embrace it. And it gains more traction in the music scene. And in time, in movies, from Easy Rider to Cheech and Chong. Man, why'd you tell me that when you started driving? Oh, never mind that, man. What to the cult talking? classic, like Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> By the 1990s, the medical community starts promoting and endorsing the benefits of cannabis physically and psychologically. And... Even more artists like Snoop Dogg capitalize on the movement. So too country stars like Willie Nelson and Toby Keith. But I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. 18 states now allow for recreational cannabis. In Illinois, it's been on the books since January of 2020. That year, according to state records, $669 million was sold. That figure rose to $1.4 billion in 2021. And while many Americans still and always will oppose its use, a Gallup poll from November of 2021 says more than ever are okay with it. At 68% of people in the U.S. support its consumption. But along party lines, far more Democrats at 83% are in favor than just 50% of Republicans. Back here at the dispensary on the city's south side, 420 and all it has come to represent is a day of celebration in the ongoing mission to teach the benefits of the plant in their opinion. We wanted something that was still really fun and, and like still something that would be, you know, social and, and all those things, but that you would learn about cannabis at the end of it and so, some things that like uh, about like land race strains and like where, where all of the genetics of, of cannabis come from. So while cannabis remains illegal under federal law, there is a move underway in Congress to decriminalize it and let banks finance the operations. Illinois also has awarded 40 craft grower licenses, but the social equity program designed to allow for minority dispensary ownership is on hold pending the outcome of several lawsuits. Patrick Elwood, WGN News.